Pterygium Surgery Before and After. This is a pterygium. In this video we'll show how we remove it and then show the appearance of the eye at one day, one week, and then three months after surgical removal. There are a variety of techniques to remove pterygia. In fact, I'd venture to say that most surgeons have a slightly different technique. How do I remove the pterygium? My personal technique involves application of local anesthesia, lidocaine, eye drops, followed by placement of subconjunctival lidocaine with epinephrine directly into the pterygium as well as in the area that we will use to create the autograft. The patient is awake but comfortable. Most patients are sedated with a Valium tablet. The procedure is painless for the patient. The first surgical step is to remove the pterygium. We lift the conjunctiva about five to six millimeters from the limbus, then incise the conjunctiva. We are careful to avoid incising the medial rectus muscle that is in this area. Then we peel the head of the pterygium from the cornea. Any pterygium remnants on the cornea are then peeled away with 0.12 forceps with teeth. We then apply mitomycin C 0.02% for two minutes to the bare sclera, then rinse the mitomycin C away with balanced salt solution. Next, we remove the conjunctiva from above the cornea to form the autograft. This graft is then sutured into place to cover the area of bare sclera where the pterygium was removed. Patients will feel like there's a grain of sand in the eye for two days after surgery, then the eye will feel more comfortable. How does the eye look after surgery? This is the appearance of the eye one day after pterygium removal. The suture and autograft are in good position. Subconjunctival hemorrhages in the surgical area make the eye red for the first month after surgery. One week later, the autograft has had time to fixate itself to the sclera and therefore the suture can now be removed. Most patients are very comfortable within two to three days after surgery. Finally, three months after surgery, here is the appearance of the eye after pterygium removal. It looks completely normal. In fact, it looks even better than the patient's other eye. I find the transformation from one day to three months after surgery to be gratifying for the patient and the surgeon. In general, using this technique for pterygium removal, there is a very low recurrence rate, probably less than 5% and a very high patient satisfaction rate. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope this video was helpful. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. It's really cool. Like, it's like it was never there. Like seriously, never there.